Here we have to show that h union k is a subspace of a vector space v if and only if h is contained in k or k is contained in h. And all of this will assume that uh, k and h themselves are also subspaces of a vector space v, but I just uh, I forgot to write it, so proof. All right, let's prove this direction first. So we'll start by assuming, so suppose, that h is contained in k or k is contained in h. So this means either h is contained in k or k is contained in h, or both. Now, if both are true, then h is just k, and it's a subspace because h union k is k, and we're done. So let's just start by saying if h is contained in k. Then let's look at h union k. What is, what is this? Well, if it's not obvious, draw a picture. So let's see. Here's a little h, and here's k, right? Because h is contained in k. Well, the union in this case is just k. So this is k. And this is a subspace of v. So the union is a subspace. So that part is done. Now, if instead k is contained in h, then, again, let's look at the union and see what we come up with. And if it's not obvious, uh, draw a picture. So here is k. And it's contained in h. Looks like if you union k and h, you just get h. Well, sure enough, this is a subspace of our vector space view. Easy enough. All right, the other direction, the other direction, ah, let me see if I can erase this. Oh, look, it erases uh, very badly. All right, so here we go. Okay, so the other direction looks a little better. That's a nicer arrow. We're going to prove by showing the contrapositive. So we're going to suppose that h is not contained in k and k is not contained in h. Okay? And we are going to show that h union k is not a subspace. Okay? So to do this, we're going to prove this by contradiction. So suppose to the contrary that h union k is a subspace. So if we reach a contradiction, we are done. Okay, we are completely done. So at this point, we should probably use our hypothesis. Right? So h is not contained in k, and k is not contained in h. So the first one means, so since h is not contained in k, there exists an element which we'll call little h, which lives inside h, but not k. And just for clarity, I'll write it right below. Now, since k is not contained in h, there exists an element, or a vector, actually, these are vectors, these are vector spaces, uh, which lives in k, but not h. Okay. So now we need to somehow involve the fact that h union k is a subspace. Right? It is a subspace. So the natural thing to do is to notice that the sum of h and k is in the union. So note, h and k are both in the union. So, so is the sum of the vectors. Why? I won't write it this time. It's because h union k is a subspace. Right? OK. Now, to finish, we need to reach a contradiction, which we've been trying to do. At this point, I think we've exhausted almost everything. So we need to somehow involve little h, which we know is in h but not in k, and little k, which we know is in k but not in h. To do that, we, know, we need to know where h plus k is. So let's use the definition of union. So then, little h plus little k is in h, or little h plus little k is in capital K. So let's take cases. So if little h plus little k is in h, so we have a vector in h. So what other vector do we have in h? Let's see, we have little h, that's in h. So let's see if we can write k in a funny way. So then little k, well, let's try to write it as h plus k. So you just write it down, let's see, h plus k. Sure enough, looks like we can subtract h. And then this here is an h. 
This here is an H. So the difference is an H because H is a subspace. But we said that little k is not an H. If you look right here, it says that little k is not an H. So this is a contradiction. Likewise, if H plus k is in k, then let's see if we can do the same thing with little h. Little h is h plus k minus k. So this is in k. This is in k. So little h is in k. But again, we said that little h was not in k. If you look right here, you see that little h is not in k. But now we're saying it's in k. That's a contradiction. So in any case, we have a contradiction. So we're done. That's it.